Well, taking a look at your weather this uh, Monday afternoon, I don't even know what day it is. We're talking about the tropics right away. We're kicking off the last day of September talking about the tropics. It's been a nice morning, but we'll get to where the action is. Luckily, all the actions happening out in the open Atlantic Ocean. Tropical Storm Kirk has formed in the central Atlantic. We've got Joyce, we've got Isaac. These are all going to stay out in the open Atlantic and bring no impacts to any land areas, but we are going to continue watching this area for possible tropical developments in the Caribbean and southern Gulf of Mexico. No big changes over the last couple days. The National Hurricane Center is still highlighting a 50% chance of tropical development in the next seven days. It looks like it will stay pretty weak and disorganized. We'll watch it for any changes, but the models are trending in a good direction, sending a signal that it's not going to be a huge problem. Problem, which is something that we definitely want to see. That's a welcome sight. So we'll walk through what's expected in the coming days. It looks like we'll see two areas of moisture moving into the Gulf of Mexico. Again, just a swath of moisture disorganized. And then here's that second batch that will be moving in later in the week. So this is Friday. Here's all that moisture locked up into the southern Gulf. But also you notice we've got some hanging out over the Gulf Coast and the peninsula of Florida. I think this is just going to increase rain chances later this week, Thursday, Friday and into next weekend across the Gulf Coast. I don't think there's going to be any big developments. Of course, that can still change. It depends on how things kind of transpire in the coming days. We'll watch it closely. But at this point, the concern level is on the lower side going into later this week and next weekend. So I mentioned the upper pattern really will be watching is high pressure off to the east and off to the west, and that will help direct all of this this moisture to the north and to the northeast towards the peninsula of Florida. But I still think here in our part of the Gulf, southeast Louisiana, south Mississippi, we'll have that inbound tropical moisture later this week. We'll have rain and storms returning here for us on Thursday and Friday. Here are the rainfall totals over the next seven days. The highest look to be focused in the Gulf of Mexico itself and for the peninsula of Florida, but even across the eastern and central Gulf Coast, we can see a couple inches of rain over the next seven days. And it's been dry and will continue to stay dry through Wednesday. So, you know, it's not a bad thing that we'll be seeing some of this rain across our part of the Gulf. Hopefully that's just how it stays. Some development is possible later this week, but it looks weak and kind of sloppy in its organization. Expecting more rain for the Gulf Coast Thursday, Friday into next weekend, but stay tuned for any updates and any changes because changes are still possible since it's still several days away and nothing has formed yet. So we'll get better information in the coming days. 